Okay, continuing on uh, with uh, Skytier Horde, I'm going to try to set up our progress uh, a little bit. Um, so, the first thing to note uh, is that you have so, uh, this page is components and card anatomy and that is not a very good idea because uh, you get stuck in the component overview um, and the card anatomy is naming things on icons uh, which should be I think separate um, okay so for Frostbite Stronghold, uh, there are abilities. Let's see. Um, Frostbite Stronghold. Yeah, here. Points here to a uh, related hero, so Kordjov's castle, so you should have heroes and they would be presumably uh, in, in the blue deck, uh, as I showed, uh, so this would be then Kordjov somewhere. Where are you? Yeah, Kordjov. Was it Kordjov? Yeah, Kordjov. Okay, so that's great. Where is he? Let's put him on the top. Uh, so apparently a color represents a hero, but um, where do you put the hero? Um, so for the the blue, what I did was I, I separated the car the the hero cards by but um, by the front color, so red. And blue and yellow and uh, some other color. Green. And uh, then for the horde deck, uh, there are a lot of uh, various uh, uh, types, and normally they have keywords in the, in the center uh, in in normal. Uh, board game so monster and dead and let's see epic monster and dead so I made I made epic monster and dead uh, uh, packs and attachment and dead packs and uh, lots and lots of uh, packs and uh, that's completely uh, pointless because what you do is um, you look at the uh, top right icon and as I said this is a um, quite a lot uh, quite a lot of uh, information density uh, what I mean is that you have here a little icon and that is the horde set and it's not apparent how important that is, but in the next page you are supposed to shuffle together all horde cards from the common as a set and another set of choice for your first game use the renegade set. So apparently there is a renegade set and the renegade set 
uh, is This is also uh, th this also has renegades. Um, let's see. Show the possible confusion. Monster and that. 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 Attachment and that. Attachment and that. Spell and that. Spell and. Okay, so it doesn't have any. Renegades, that's good. But there are renegades that are not. That there are cards with keywords renegades that don't have the renegade uh, set icon. So uh, let's see what is a renegade. This is the monster renegade set and. Uh, it makes the only sensible sorting is uh, by this icon uh, to put all these cards together. This is the renegade set, I think. Uh, then what is the common set? The common set does not have the word common, uh, but it has this swirly icon, but. Yeah, so uh, again, swirly icon. Uh, all the cards with swirly icon in the top right is common. And these two can be put together uh, to form the horde, uh, your first horde deck. Um, you can separate them again later uh, with this icon. And um, then uh, tokens, uh, place the two lane markers, etc. Um, mana token next to the zero on a lane marker, place all remaining tokens within reach. Uh, take the three portals of the desired game mode and difficulty identified by the icons at the bottom of the card. See legend below. Now, this is a terrible legend, and this is why uh, this should have been made uh, longer. Um, because what you want is the three portals are in the Roman numeral, numerals, uh, after some figuring out. Uh, so you have, let's take this, yeah, you have the, the, the portal deck. What, what is the portal deck? The portal deck is uh, the... Um, the green backed horde cards and this number you would think that this number co uh, corresponds with uh, competitive uh, two three but that's not th that's not the case it is the the phase you play uh, the game in three phases, uh, first portal, then second portal, and third version of that portal. So, uh, these two never come into the same game. Um, however, you can see that uh, The the text is different and the and the values are different and, and this symbol uh, the two the, the two heads corresponds with the cooperative version and this symbol the V swirly thing it's very hard to see I think corresponds with the versus version. And this is the third uh, version of the same card, same uh, end, uh, end portal. It corresponds with the solo version. So, we have three decks in essence. We have the, the solo, the co-op, 
the co-op and the uh, and the versus uh, portal. And this is the two symbol, so it should go uh, with the solo head. This is uh, two heads versus solo, two heads versus solo, two heads. I'm only looking at uh, the icon on the left of the Roman uh, numeral. Uh, solo go up versus solo go up versus solo go up versus. Alright. Now, we are not going to play the versus because you have to use uh, too much of a brain. Uh, the go up version. Uh, also is not useful. Um, not going to bother with the or, or sorting. The only thing that's of interest is for the first game is the solo version. Now, and to the right of this uh, mess of icons here is the difficulty. Now, the difficulty for uh, surely thing with uh, dot in the middle is painful and uh, surly thing without uh, dot in the middle is hard so let's put them so and the single surly thing the moon is for normal we put that on top the same for the others and uh huh okay and this one doesn't have an icon at all and no icon but the difficulty here does not mention uh, absence of an icon i think this is a tutorial uh, game or something let's see now I think these belong together because there are only three left and I think this was just a mistake that uh, should be uh, a moon icon here. Like we compare to the others, no there are only two cards, one and two. 